Well, welcome back everybody to part two. In this video I'm going to be taking this bottom cover off and I'm going to replace that power cord and then we're going to hook this thing up to the Variac and see if we've got any kind of life out of this receiver. And uh, I'm going to have to replace these feet or figure out something for that. One of the feet, or I should say the tape anyway, had this little rubber foot attached to it which is supposed to go over that but uh, that's the only one that was there so I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a way to replace these They're just kind of like a little insert or something that's screwed down in there so I'm gonna have to figure something out for that but uh, just looking at these screws it doesn't I can't really tell for sure if anyone's ever been in there before it does kind of look like the paint's worn a little bit on the inside of the screw there but it doesn't look like the paint around the screw has been disturbed can't really tell for sure either that or when the person took this panel off they put it on such that the screw heads matched up with the little little the little line dug into the paint that the screw head would leave and so you can't tell if it was taken off or not um, there's one I'm not sure if this is a some kind of a paint there or if that's actually down the bare metal. It doesn't feel like it. it. Feels like that's just like I don't know paint or white out or something on there. But no matter. You can get these screws off of here and have a look inside the the bottom side of this thing and uh, see how we can get that uh, quarter placed there. I don't think it's going to be too terribly hard, but it might be a little challenging with it being angled and stuff there. So, well, let's let's get this cover off and find out. What the hell do you suppose that is? There's two of them little things in here. Hmm. I have no idea. Doesn't really look like a bug, but Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so I got the new cord installed there. Just finished soldering it up. And, uh, just using one of these from a power supply. I cut the end of it, uh, this end right here, off of it. And uh, it was uh, a lot of fun to push this grommet through uh, with that cord in there. It's always a pain in the butt to do that, but uh, I managed to get it in there nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, everything uh, soldered up nicely there now. And uh, we should be good to go. So I guess it's time to uh, do a smoke test. Put the bottom cover back on and uh, see what happens. All right, we've come to the moment of truth here. Let's find out if this receiver is going to work or not. Uh, I went ahead and put the volume knob, I straightened this shaft out and got it pretty good there actually. A very slight wobble to it, but it's going to get replaced anyway. So um, we'll do that in the next video when I start taking apart this uh, front and stuff. And I've been so optimistic that I hooked up an antenna there to it, sort of. And I uh, got the speakers plugged into it as well. But. <clears throat> So let's find out. So let's see. Let's put the speakers. Let's turn on. Put the speakers on off. And uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, we're at about, according to this, 25 volts. And we've got lights. All three of them are lit, which is surprising. And let's take it up a little bit more. You can see it's lighting up here. We're at, oh, we heard a protection relay click in, and that's only at about 55 volts. And we're at about 95 right now. Nothing has gone boom. There's no smell of anything burning. And let's go ahead and just take it up all the way there. I think we're good to go. All right. All the switches are off. 
All of our indicators are working, so that's uh, surprising. Let's see if we've got any stations coming in here. Oh, I gotta put it back on FM. Dumb, 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 dumb. Yep, there's our stereo indicator. So all the lights are working, which is really nice to see. And these uh, uh, little <clears throat> rubber sockets that hold these lights up into the diffuser here, those are nice and soft, so if I had to replace those, it'd be easy to pull those out. Well, somewhat easy anyway. Alright, so volume is down. Let's go ahead and crank up the speakers and find out what we've got here. Touching moment. Well, staying in touch with Geico. Just the other night, as I gazed up into the sky, I saw a shooting star. In that moment, I made a wish that Geico would be available 24-7 by phone, on the <clears> web, <throat> or with the Geico app. Now we've got audio After on that, both speakers. I realized my wish had already come true. So basically, I had just made inside to deal with a local company that knows how to keep Wyoming weather outside. We're going to spoil their fun to the world. Besides, I'd like to see Sheriff Dixon get all excited when the shooting starts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool it now. Uh, and feel right on 105.5 The Colorado Sound. Uh, originally with Paper Bird. At Crank all, up all the way. See if the muting works. Yep. Dave, and then on the offensive side, really getting those pucks in has been difficult, but it's getting. Turn that tone defeat switch off there. You're just seconds away from another. I suppose you can show me how to make your count up to five. This thing's got a nice sound to it. She's made that way. She's not to blame if they look her way. It's especially effective to air right something you want to remember. I don't know what the hell that is. All right, let's check AM here. Some Mexican station there. I don't, well, the built-in antennas hooked up, obviously, but... Alex Derola, the fifth West Co. pitcher of the evening. First and second for the Sixers, one out, Matt... I hear a lot of stations, but they're pretty distant. To some degree in, in Israel, where... The... There's that Mexican station again. Oh, Bernie Sanders. Oh, go away, please. You know, you have a spirit in you that's telling you this is wrong. Okay. Both you and your husband. And, um... And you had a sense of that going in, and, and this extreme amount of activity has confirmed that. And right. so I would just ask for a cup of coffee with your realtor and just say, guys, you know, we all sat down here, all three of us, and we all looked at the facts that you brought us. And based on the facts, you we went with you because we trust you. And, and um, But we both had a bad feeling at that time, and the level of activity has confirmed that. Down. Let's that see if there's feeling. any. No, there's no crackling in the phone, so all those transistors are good. Auxiliary mic, no crackling there either.
Well, I'm going to call that a successful test for now. I'm going to run this thing for a little while and uh, play with it. Uh, probably going to have to clean some controls, obviously, but they really don't sound too bad, actually. There's not really much crackling or of anything in the controls. Uh, there's a little bit in the treble in the bass, but not that much, considering how, uh, how dirty this thing is inside here. I did uh, vacuum it out a little bit, too, by the way. But uh, i got to give that tuner a good blowing out and uh, probably hit it with some contact cleaner. Uh, but anyway, I need to just kind of test this thing for a little while and uh, make sure everything is working okay. And if it's not, well, we're going to have to figure out what the fix is going to be for that. But so far, it's uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed, actually, that it's still working perfectly fine. So, um, yeah. There's no good reason why the power cord was cut. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this was a nice find for 50 bucks. I'm very happy with it. The uh, wood veneer, um, this is like just a plastic underlayment vinyl or something like that with a thin piece of well, it looks like wood grain vinyl on top of it. It's not real wood, I can tell you that right now. So it's a fake wood veneer, fake <laughs> whatever you want to call it there. But uh, anyway, that's going to get fixed. That's going to get replaced. I haven't decided yet for sure, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, veneer treatment on this real wood veneer treatment and uh, probably stain it. That looks like it's going to probably be the best option. And uh, here's the uh, the front, the other front, the 650 front. And it's interesting that this 650 front is identical to the 750 front, except for, obviously, labeling, but the Tape 2 monitor switch there is longer on the 750, obviously, to accommodate that wider throw switch, but <clears throat> everything's in the same place. So theoretically, I could just put this on all the way, but we're not going to do that. The uh, glass, uh, to remove the glass, uh, it is double-sided taped in. That's double-siding, double-sided tape right there. So, uh, hot air gun, warm that glue up on that tape. Uh, we'll hopefully remove that, or get that, get that softened up to where I can remove the glass. Uh, clean the glass up, make it look all pretty, and then uh, we'll have to, I'll have to do the same thing on this glass. But I uh, should be able to just re reattach this with some double-sided tape. I've got some, and uh, it's a permanent tape, which means that it will only come off if it's heated up, which is what manufacturers use for these applications anyway. So, um, yeah. I think uh, this is turning out to be a, a great find, actually, considering that everything works. <clears throat> all the lights work, which is nice. I like to have original bulbs, if at all possible. And uh, the the tuning scale is in immaculate shape. The front is actually in, really, I would say, pretty close to perfect condition. There's a couple little light scratches up here. I don't know if the cameras can pick it up. Yeah, they're right there. <clears throat> you can see a little bit right there and a little bit one right there. But once I get this faceplate cleaned up, get that tape residue off and stuff, uh, this thing's going to be practically perfect, actually. So, uh, really, really uh, happy how this is turning out. I did not expect that, considering the cord was cut. I mean, you would think that someone would cut the cord for a reason, but apparently not. So, hey... That's the way to get these things. Anyway, stay tuned for part three, everyone. Until then, peace out.